today. Welcome to my new kitchen. Yay! I get to cook in my new kitchen tonight. Actually, on the side of the kitchen, not the other side of the room at the kitchen table like I did yesterday. I hope you guys have had a great day. I'm so excited to show you this really easy meal. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to make the most simplest side dish you can possibly make unless you're just eating raw, raw vegetables. So this is the super, super, super simple side dish. My husband loves it. My daughter loves it. It takes about 15 minutes in the oven. I've got my oven on 350. And all I did was take some smaller size green beans. So like I love the fresh vegetables over in the produce section at Walmart or Kroger. So it's a fresh bag of green beans. I put some lemon oil in my pan to keep it clean. Look guys, olive oil. Olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it. This is the easiest thing. And we're cooking some roasted green beans. So super yummy and easy. Who loves green beans? If you love some green beans, give me some hearts. Tonight, we're gonna make a million dollar chicken recipe. It's a new recipe I haven't tried before. And we'll see if it's any good. It's a million dollar chicken at a budget price. So I love chicken, <laughs> but most of the time it costs a lot of money to make chicken dishes. So after you put your olive oil and your salt and pepper on here, you do wanna kinda of move it around to make sure the olive oil is on every green bean because you want them to roast really good and get soft and crinkly. I love mine crinkly. <laughs> now I know I don't like my um, uh, vegetables mushy, but I don't, I don't like them hard either. So I get them a little crinkly, a little brown around the edges of the green bean and that tells me they are cooked perfect. All right, so I move those around, salt and pepper, olive oil, that's it. I'm putting them in the oven. If I get my oven door open, oh, ooh, they're gonna be good. All right, and these take about 20 minutes, depending on how thick or how big and fat your green beans are. So let's move on to the million dollar chicken. I'm curious what you guys are doing for dinner tonight. I gotta move my, close, my camera up closer. I can't see all the comments. Hey, Alex, how are you? All right, so we are using a nine by 13 baking dish. Let me show you where I got it. It's my handy dandy favorite cabinet so far in the kitchen. I have a little pull out down here that holds all of my bakeware. So all of my nine by 13s, my squares, my rounds. How amazing is that? I love my new kitchen, guys. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited <laughs> to be cooking in my kitchen tonight. Thank you guys for joining me. Tell me what you're doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly. I'm curious what everyone is cooking. I see Angela on here. Hey, Angela and Kathy. Hey, um, hey Adam, how are you? I see Danny, Tanya, how are you guys doing? I see so many people. Hey, Amy Hill. I see Janet. Good evening, everyone. What are you doing for dinner tonight? If you haven't already cooked. Nicole, I haven't texted you or called you or anything in so long. I apologize. I think about you all the time when I see your beautiful food. <laughs> you, both, you post the most beautiful food pictures. Guys, if you can't notice, I still got this darn Steri strips on there. I think they glued them on. And I, like, they're not coming off. The doctor said they have to wear off on their own, so I cut like a little bit of piece right there. But I told them if it keeps staying on there, I'm going to put some white out or something on it because it's turning dark. It looks dirty. <laughs> but I'm feeling great. Absolutely no pain. All the pain is gone. I love it. Angela's doing hot wings. Ooh, Santa's doing salmon and asparagus. That sounds amazing. Hey, Rena. All right, let's see who else is on here. Hey, Melody, how are you? Hey, Megan. As you come on, let me know where you're watching from. I haven't done live videos in a long time. Last night was my first one in a little while. Hey, Aunt Nancy, how are you? Hey, jo Joan, hey, Joan, thank you. I love my kitchen. I do love it, it is absolutely beautiful. So my cabinet maker left this afternoon and he believes he's done. So unless we find something, let me show you what he did today to finish up. I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. I got a lazy Susan in my top corner. I have the drawers in my bottom corner. So I've got two levels that I can turn around. I'm so short though. Look y'all, I'm so short. I'm gonna have to get on a stool to use the second one. So I'm gonna try to lower this one down some. And then I have another storage shelf up there for like things I don't use very often. And then the other thing that he had to finish was my pantry shelves. So I'm gonna actually raise this one up one more to put my kitchen aid so I can just get it easy, fast every time. And then I'm gonna adjust those so I can put things I don't use all the time, like my baking sheets and not baking sheets, but uh, baking pans, things I don't use all the time. So I'm gonna have tons of storage here. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Lucy from Texas. Thank you for watching. Hey, Kimberly. Debbie says she loves my cabinets. Thank you, Debbie. Hey, Angela. All right, so tell me what you guys are cooking tonight. We're fixing to whip up some million dollar chicken. 
This is the first time I've cooked it. I'm excited to try something new in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, last night I gotta tell you, I gotta confess, I was freaked out. So I made the cabbage with fried bacon and onions and it was so good, I love fried cabbage. I was cooking bacon over there on my new stovetop, which is a new ceramic stovetop. I've never had one of those, guys. All my appliances from 1996. I've been using all the same stuff from 1996, so. I was just cooking away and pouring out my grease and my grease little jar and grease popped down on my ceramic and I just panicked because after I got through cleaning my dishes, I noticed there was like a like burn streak and like it looked like fire. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I tore on my new stove top on the very first day. What the heck am I going to do? This thing was like $400. <laughs> But I did get some uh, stove cleaner today and you cannot even tell there's anything wrong. So guys, I am going to have some backsplash. So I still have some beautiful things coming in the kitchen, but it's functional. I can cook in it. I can live in it. I'm so excited. Stephanie says she's having tacos or taco salad. I love taco salads. I'm so surprised Ricky didn't ask me to cook taco salads this week. We haven't cooked in so long and we absolutely love taco salads and anything Mexican. Hey Beth, how are you? Hey Tammy. All right, guys, so has anybody tried the million dollar chicken recipe? I find a lot of stuff on Pinterest. I love Pinterest, it's free. <laughs> you can search for anything. So if you're looking for ground beef, you can put keto ground beef. If you're looking for chicken, you can just put chicken, low carb, vegetables, I mean, anything you want, you can find on Pinterest. The only problem is for me, I only cook things that are fast, easy with less than six ingredients or less than seven. Sometimes I'll do six or seven, but that's counting salt and pepper and I don't like to count that. <laughs> So the only tricky thing about Pinterest is you really do have to go through and search everything if you know you want to save it. Otherwise, you're just going to have a junky board full of crap that you're never going to cook. So it does take a little time to research the recipes, but you can look for some pretty pictures of food, see that it's low carb, and then investigate. Hey, Hannah, how are you? All right, so million dollar chicken. Here we go. Just like last night, I have some tricks. I like to cook fast. I'm a working woman just like the rest of you guys. So when I get home, I want to cook, I want to clean, I want to watch TV, I want to have a glass of wine, I want to rest. Before my next day this morning, I started at 5, so I'm already tired. As you can tell, I slept late. I didn't even want to fix my hair this morning, so I didn't. <laughs> but when I get home, I want to cook and I want to be done. So I have a couple of tricks. Last night, I showed you meatloaf minis. Instead of doing a meatloaf pan or a meatloaf casserole that takes 45 minutes to 60 minutes to cook, I use muffins. So use the muffin tin, it takes 10 to 15 minutes and they're done instead of waiting 45 minutes. Same thing with chicken, I like to use chicken strips. Chicken tenders cook in 15 minutes instead of having to cook it for 35 to 40 minutes with a big thick chicken breast. So there's a lot of tricks if you're in a hurry and you wanna cook easy, simple, fast meals, then watch my page. Share my page please, share the video. If you know anybody who would like to uh, learn a little bit about keto and find easy, fast recipes. So I have my chicken in my casserole dish. Over in my mixing bowl, I've got about six ounces of softened cream cheese. I got it as soft as I could because I don't have a microwave yet. <laughs> We're going to add in a fourth cup of mayonnaise or a fourth, fourth ish cup. I love mayonnaise, so I went a little overboard. So, about a fourth cup of mayonnaise. You guys know the mayonnaise I love. It's expensive. Dang, it's, it's hard to find expensive, or I'm sorry, it's hard to find inexpensive sauces that are low carb. But I do love the mayonnaise I buy. It's called uh, Better Body Brands. Better Body Foods is the, the name of the company. I'll show it to you in just a few minutes. So a fourth cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna add in my favorite ingredient, bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? You put bacon in anything with cream cheese? Holy crap, I mean, you already got a, an award-winning recipe before you even get good and started. So I've got about a half a package of bacon and I put some over to the side because we're gonna garnish the top with bacon and green onion. So I've got about a half a cup of green onion. I'm gonna do, I don't like a lot of green onion myself, but I went ahead and cut up what I had. So I'm gonna use a, almost a half a cup. And then again, I'm gonna leave just a little bit to garnish on top with the bacon. So it's gonna be super yummy. I've got a cup of Colby Jack cheese. You can do any kind of cheese you want to. I love cheese, so any kind you love, you can do. And that's it, <laughs> that's it. Very easy. We're going to stir this up if I can find a spoon. We're going to put on the spoons. All right, Ricky's already tried to get into my bacon over here, so I had to hurry and get this mixed up. I have my green beans already cooking, guys, so I got to watch those. Every once in a while on the green beans, depending on how fast you're cooking them, I've got it on 350. Depending on how uh, hot you cook it, you do have to stir them up a little bit, make sure they're not sticking. 
All right, this cream cheese is not really soft. I don't have a microwave. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Deborah. How are you, Kathy? What are you guys doing for dinner tonight? I'm curious what you're having. Hey, Michelle. Carolyn, how are you doing, girlfriend? Hey, Becky. I'm so glad to be back. <laughs> I have missed all of my friends. I hope to reach out and get in touch with everybody all over again because I feel like um, I've lost touch. I've been so crazy. So when Corona hit, gosh, March, from April to June or July, I was working six to seven days a week, every single day getting up at 4.30. It was exhausting. I was so tired. I just could not keep up with all my friends. Could not keep up with Facebook. I could not keep up with my videos. I was just exhausted. And then my daughter took that over because she decided she wanted to get paid. So after she decided she wants some overtime money, she took that from me and I've been working normal hours almost. And it's been nice. But I've been through all this renovation. I've been through surgery. I've gained 20 freaking pounds. <laughs> just like everybody else, I'm struggling in 2020. 2020 has not been a friendly year. All right, what are y'all doing for dinner tonight? Thank you, Carolyn. I sure love you. Hey, Tammy. How are you? I see it. Hey, Allison. All right. So, we're just mixing this up. I'm going to go over the ingredients in just a few minutes. I'm just mixing the heck out of it because my cream cheese is really not that soft. Look how pretty it is. We didn't put any seasonings in here. It didn't call for onion. It didn't call for garlic. I really want to add some garlic. <laughs> it didn't call for anything, not even salt and pepper. I always salt and pepper my meat, though. So, I'm going to put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt on my chicken strips. You can use the big fat breast if you want to. I just like to cook fast. I have my oven on 350. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. Actually, I'm using Redmond's Real Salt. I love Redmond's Real Salt. It's mined here in the U.S. Has all the minerals we need for keto and low carb. It's awesome stuff. Redmond, R-E-D-M-O-N-D. -E I love it. Hey, Debbie. Micah, how are you doing? Alicia's having salmon and asparagus. Uh, asparagus. <laughs> That's two people on here having salmon and asparagus. It sounds amazing. All right, we're gonna take this mixture and we're just gonna plug it in our chicken. So I'm just gonna throw it on top. We're gonna mix it up. If the cream cheese is a little softer, it'd probably be easier. I'm just gonna pile it on and we'll push it around. And after we get this on, we're going to cover it with just a little bit more cheese on top. You don't have to, okay? If you're not friendly with cheese, if you're lactose intolerant, you don't have to have any cheese. If you do, you can do just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. It's not as better for those lactose intolerant folks. And you definitely don't have to add in cheese on top. That's just for me, because <laughs> I love cheese. And I don't have any problems with those things. All right, so we're just mixing this up. This is our topping. Now, I'm cooking this in the oven tonight, but I think for 100% certainty, I'm gonna use my air fryer next time because I bet it coats, coats on here really, really nicely with an air fryer. Ooh, I bet it would make that a really good crust. I love using my air fryer. I will be using it tomorrow. Tomorrow, my sister-in-law's coming over and I'm gonna cook her some um, Parmesan chicken with chicken tenders <laughs> in the air fryer, and they're so good. Actually, I'm gonna do it with my air fryer and the oven. So that way I can cook a bunch of them and see which ones turn out the best. The air fryer, 100% I know will. All right, so I'm just moving this around, making sure all my chicken's covered, coated with the topping. Now, the oven does not work the same as the air fryer for sure. So you know this is gonna get a little liquefied and it probably will not coat on here like a crust. That's why I'm gonna use my air fryer next time after we try all these ingredients together and see if we like it. Cream cheese and bacon though, I mean, come on. All right. I'm gonna put a little cheese on top and we're good to go. Ooh, Carolyn had zoodles. That's what I'm making tomorrow, Carolyn. I love zoodles. <laughs> I'm gonna make some Parmesan chicken over zoodles. Love them. I'm putting just a little bit of cheese on top, not tons. Okay, so check out my green beans and then we're gonna add this to the oven so we can cook too. This cooks about 20 minutes because they're chicken, noodle, chicken strips, not chicken breasts. If it was chicken breasts, it'd probably take a good 40 minutes because they're thick. Unless you really pound them out and make them thin. All right, this looks delicious, y'all. It's not a casserole. All right, let me throw it in my oven real quick. Oh. That's gonna be good. I'm so excited to be in my kitchen. <laughs> I know y'all are tired of hearing that. Okay, let me show you the mayonnaise. A lot of people ask me about what mayonnaise I use because mayonnaise is a good healthy fat, but there's a lot of them that have a lot of crap in them. 
Let me turn this around here. This is a mayonnaise I love. It's called Better Body Foods. It's an avocado mayo. I get mine at pretty much any grocery store, but I'll tell you it's not inexpensive. It's like almost $6 for this little bit of thing. So I use it sparingly when I do use it, uh, but I do love that mayonnaise. It really is super, super delicious. All right, do you guys have any questions for me? I'm curious what you guys are having for dinner, those that haven't answered. Carolyn says she did the Italian sausage in the zoodles. I love those. Look at my double ovens. Aren't they beautiful? I just love my double ovens. I can turn the light on thing. I'm using the bottom one. To, oh, crap. What's that? Look. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's done popped. It's a piece of bacon. We'll just throw that baby in there. <laughs> All right. Any questions, guys? Hey, Ashley. How are you? Hey, Judy. All right, guys, I am new to videos again, so you know I like to ramble. You know I love people. I love to talk, but the main reason I do videos is to make sure that I'm answering questions. I like to help people move along in their low-carb journey, their low-carb lifestyle, their keto lifestyle. I always am honest and transparent, and I'll tell you I'm not perfect. You'll see. I mean, look at that. I've gained 20 pounds <laughs> since March. Actually, not even since March. Probably since july because that's that's sad in july to now 20 pounds but that's because i got fed up and tired of fast food keto it sucks so anyway i'm always going to be transparent i'm always going to be honest but i want to help you that's why i'm here that's why i'm the keto queen i want to help you guys reach your goals i want to help you stay on track i want to be your encourager i want to be your cheerleader i want to show you easy easy recipes that everyone in your house will love everyone loves to come over for food because keto is delicious Low carb is delicious. Debbie says she made chili dogs with coconut flour, fathead dough buns. That sounds amazing. So my mom today had a low carb chili and she had a sugar-free slaw, like a cabbage slaw, and she mixed it up and it looks so good. <laughs> hey, Travis, Tanya, I'm sure. How are you doing? I don't think I've seen your name on any of my lives before. Welcome to my page. Guys, if you know anyone who would like to have easy, home cooked meal ideas for fast dinners with very few ingredients. Make sure you're sharing my page. Make sure you share my videos so that your friends can jump on board and feel the best I've ever had before. Uh, I love, love, love keto. Even though I got off track, not off the wagon, but off track, I did get off track the last month and a half. I have been keto for three years. I have the tools. I know what to do to get right back in ketosis. I've been in and out of ketosis the last month and a half, but I have not been at my best. I have not felt my best. And my goal uh, this week is to get back on track to feel my best moving forward towards the holidays. Guys, Thanksgiving and Christmas is just around the corner, believe it or not. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but it is it's right around the corner and we want to feel our best and look our best before the holidays get here so that we can splurge a little bit and have a piece of, you know, something that you, you really want. <laughs> It's okay to do that every once in a while, but not for a month and a half like I have. So definitely off track, but getting back as quickly as I can. So what questions do you guys have? If you have any at all, I think everybody has seen my kitchen by now. I did do a, a kitchen reveal. Got some new things coming still. I have to have backsplash. I mean, it's just wall back there, but the backsplash is going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to see it. And um, we're pretty much done. I got a little bit more organizing to do since I have my um, pantry finished. Hey, Teresa, thank you so much. I am feeling so much better. Uh, I'm tired today because I had to work early and I was just lazy this morning. I'm sorry, I might have to have that piece of bacon I hadn't eaten. <laughs> All right. Hey, Angie. Kelsey, I love that name. If that's how you say your name, it's spelled beautifully. Kelsey, that's so pretty. Hey, Sabrina. All right, guys, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to jump off here. I'm curious again what you're having for dinner tonight, if you haven't said, and where you're watching from. Is this a live or replay? So let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner. To go over real quick what we did in a million-dollar chicken recipe. I've never tried it before. It sounds delicious. I'll come back and tell you if it's worth the, the, the money. But I love cheap meals that taste delicious and are easy to cook. So this was super simple. I used chicken strips. They're like $5 a package. I used um, Colby Jack cheese, about uh, one cup. And then we had a half a cup of onion, green onion. We had about a half a package of bacon that I fried up. Instead of using like processed bacon bits, I fried up some bacon. 
what else? A fourth cup of mayonnaise <laughs> and a half or about six ounces of softened cream cheese and just mix all that together in a bowl. And then after you mix it, just throw it on top of your chicken. Stick in the oven. The chicken strips will cook in about 20 minutes. I need to time that. I gotta figure out how to use this kitchen uh, timer. It still is on nine minutes. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my book. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate it. Hey, Felicia. So anyway, we just threw that chicken in the oven and the easiest side dish you can possibly serve up that your family will love is roasted green beans. So I just put fresh green beans in the steam bags, throw them on a, um, a, a sheet of uh, aluminum foil so they don't mess my pan up and I have to clean all it. And I just put olive oil on them, salt and pepper, twirl them around, stuck them in the oven. They're roasting and they're gonna be so, so good. Let's look and see if they're actually looking good right now. I gotta find a pot holder. One thing about having a new kitchen is trying to remember where you put everything. They're looking pretty. They're looking really good. They definitely are not done yet. I'm gonna get me a spoon and see if I need to uh, stir them up. I don't know if that's going to not my button board. Nah, it'll be all right. All right, let me get a spoon and stir them around. You don't want to storm around just a little bit to make sure that they're not burning on the bottoms and that they're not sticking. You want to make sure you put all, plenty of olive oil on them. And I like mine to turn a little bit. So as soon as it starts to turn that little darker color, I know they're done. I like them wilted. Uh, if they're fresh green beans, they're going to be delicious. If they wilt, that's just how I like them. If you like them crunchy, this will be done. So I'm going to put these back in there. And that's it, guys. Ooh, April made pork chops in the air fryer so good. We definitely are having pork chops this week and I will be cooking them in the air fryer too. It's a, also a new pork chop recipe I haven't tried before. So I'm so excited to get back in the kitchen and try new things again. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bore you to death. If I can help you in any way, please send me a message. Share my videos if you know friends who need to get on track, who want to learn about keto, easy cooking, and have fun. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.